Hello, this is Carlos Vega with my Facebook page, Money Talk with Los, making my first video today. And today I decided to talk to you about minimum payments on your credit cards and be in the no interest promotions. Many of you get credit cards with no interest promotion, 0% interest for six months, 0% for 12 months, 18 months. But you do the mistake of just paying minimum payments and you never pay off the balance by the time the promotion ends. That is the worst, worst, worst thing you can do because what happens is you get charged with two different interest rates. You get charged with first the balance transfer interest rate, second you get charged with the actual APR that the credit card is charging you for the purchase. So whenever you get your statement, you're going to have two interest rates and you're going to be paying double the interest. So right now I'm going to teach you real quick with an example of uh, one of my personal credit cards that I just uh, opened up last year in August to get some uh, wedding bands uh, for my wedding, for my uh, marriage, I just got married. And I want to show you what the statement looks like and I want to teach you how to read the statement and understand everything that is on your statement because a lot of people don't even know what their interest rate is or is going to be. So please pay attention. If you find this information useful, please share it, like it, and comment below. I appreciate it. Okay, so what we have here is the statement. And that's the remaining balance right now, $700, you see? And the minimum payment is $25. Never pay that minimum payment because it is doing you no good if the promotion is going to end very soon. I'm going to show you what I mean. So right now, if you go right here on the page it says you must pay the balance $700 of your plan in full by August 12th 2018 to avoid paying accrued interest charges so what that means is that if you do not pay it by August 12th 2018 you're going to be paying accrued interest what does that mean you go over here to the second page of this uh, statement. It says here, total accrued interest is $54. So during the time I took out this purchase in August till now January 2018, $54 of interest has accumulated and accrued on this balance. So that means that this is just going to keep growing month after month. So by August 2018, this number here is going to be a lot higher on the August statement if that balance of $700 is not paid off by them. So then what's going to happen is I'm going to have a new interest rate of on purchases of 29.99%. That is ridiculous. High interest. The store credit cards are so horrible. The only reason I got it was just to be able to pay this off with monthly payments with no interest, meaning that I'm not going to pay them more than what it cost me. I'm only going to pay them exactly what I paid for it. And the way you figure it out is you got to figure out how much time you have and how much you can afford monthly. So for example, let's just use the remaining balance right now. The remaining balance right now is $700, right? And I have to pay it off by when? I have to pay it off by August 12th, 2018. So if today is January 2018, I know that I have to pay it off in seven months, right? So you do the balance divided by the number of months that equals $100. So that means that I have to be able to afford $100 per month for the next seven months. You get that? If I cannot afford $100 per month for the next seven months, this balance of $700 will not be paid and I will be paid the accrued interest that we saw before right so 
that's what's gonna happen. So if you do not want to pay interest and you want to have your balance paid off in full and you want to make sure that you're not overpaying for your purchases, you have to do that simple formula. The balance divided by the number of months equals the minimum that you have to pay. So now keep in mind, that's the, min the real minimum that you have to pay to pay it off. But they trick you, the credit card companies trick you and they tell you that that's the minimum payment that they want you to pay. Why? Because they're smart. They know that you're going to pay that and not that to get yourself out of debt. So this right here is a trap, people. Do not pay the minimum only. It is a trap. Trap, trap, trap. A big no, no. Do not pay minimum payments only. You have to pay whatever it is going to be to, uh, the, the amount that's going to take you to zero dollars by the end of the promotion. By the end of the promotion. You do not want to pay more than what you are paying because look at this this is a trap if you don't believe me that this is a trap check this out if you make no additional charges using this card and each month you pay only the minimum payment it will take you this long you will pay off the balance shown on the statement in about four years what the fuck four years are you kidding me and you will end up paying an estimated total of a thousand three hundred and seven dollars wow that is amazing so this ends up being this wow is that a scam or is that a scam it's only a scam if you allow it to be and if you want to get scammed then go ahead pay the scam minimum payment and it says also clearly if you make no additional charges, that means if you stop using the credit card, don't use the credit card anymore and only pay a minimum, it'll take you four years. But guess what people do? They keep on using the credit card and they keep on adding more money to it so that four years is going <laughs> to increase. It's only, only going to increase. It's only going to increase and you're going to be stuck in credit card debt forever because you do not know how to manage your money you do not know how to manage your finances and your credit cards so this is why people end up in credit card debt and this is why the minimum payment is a trap so if you ever end up with a zero percent promotion only charge what you're going to use for the promotion do not charge any more on it until you finish paying off the balance for the promotion and you are going to be happy that you listened to me and did what you had to do and properly manage your credit cards so this i hope this helps you out i hope you understand now how to read your statements always pay attention to your statement always look at it and and read everything don't just throw it away and don't just pay the minimum read everything how much the previous balance was how much you made the last payment how much was credited to your account your new balance when the payment is due always pay attention to that okay because if you don't you're gonna get stuck you're gonna be in debt you're probably gonna go bankrupt you're going to some debt consolidation program it's gonna be ridiculous you don't want to go through this so i hope this helps like comment share and i hope you have a nice day